やっほーあ、ほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほっほ Let's, uh, let's see let's see how Freya does what Freya does again. See how many laws of privacy she breaks. Why is this game so loud? <laughs> Alright. Um uh, Skip dialogue? No. And how many languages do I have? Indonesian, Japanese, Chinese. Oh, actually I'm not sure. There are differences Korean, Russian, German, French, Spanish, Turkish, Portuguese, and that's all. Yeah, my voice go burr today. Actually, I hope I can actually read, unlike yesterday. Yeah, there's multiple things that I hope for this stream. For one, that it doesn't die. <laughs> and two, that I don't lose frames like uh, last Friday. Seems to be going well, though. Of course, Eric. Glad to hear you're doing well. This might not be a very long stream because I don't, because uh, I need to get away soon. No, not soon. Uh, hold on. Sorry. Thoughts. What are thoughts? <laughs> uh, I I have something to do tomorrow morning, so I I'll, I can't stay for long. Anyways, Neil. Oh, he just has nothing written. That's interesting. Anyways, um, we're not supposed to be here. Oh, oh, we're actually continuing from where? Okay, last time it didn't. Uh, da -da -da -da. Sorry, my mind, my mind is off today. All right, welcome. Oh, hello. Good evening, sir. Hello. I'm from the federal. Immigration Regulation and Enforcement Division, or FIRE for short. How may I help you? We've heard reports of alien sightings in this area. Take the issue of illegal interstellar immigration seriously. Have you seen any creatures you would consider to be alien in nature? Hmm. I don't think so. But what should I be looking for? What's the alien look like? We're not 100% sure. But according to some eyewitnesses, it's wearing a spacesuit or something similar. That's a uh, pretty eye-catching outfit. You'd think an illegal alien would try to blend in better, right? To avoid attention, you know? Da da da. That is a very good point. In fact, there might be a solid possibility that we have been running around after false testimonies. They are superior creatures, after all. Thank you for the help. If you see any suspicious activities, please contact us through our website. You know, people always think like. Uh, t talking with Satan. <laughs> I will. I, I don't think he has the one punch ability, but uh, people always think like, "Oh, alien! If they come here, they must be so superior, right?" No, oh, we are just inferior human beings, and these aliens come to take over us. Well, that's probably true. If they have, if they have the means for space travel, they're probably smarter. But it's kind of interesting how they always think, "Oh my God, they're so much better than us." <laughs> we'll do, sir. You don't want to drink anything before leaving. We're good. Take her on your way. La da da. Right, where's our girl Freya? Is she here? Phew. Really need to be careful, Neil. Huh? Oh, we're protecting the guy. <gasps> good, good evening, Skylar. Yo. Hello, Miss Ask. Hello, Miss Aqua. Miss Myrtle. Have you been? Have you both been somewhere together? We plan to meet here. It's just a coincidence we arrived at the same time. Would you like to order anything? Do you want to order first? Nah, you go first. No. Oh. Okay. Can I have a cup of green tea with a lot of mint? Cup of green tea with a lot of mint coming right up. And that gives me the Marrakesh. Your drink's ready. 
Oh, this looks really fresh. I call this Marrakesh, inspired by its origin. Marrakesh in Morocco? I knew it! Yeah, it's a lovely game. Indeed, it's a lovely game. Hold on. Yeah, you can actually hear the music. I The music here is a vibe. Like, it has its all, like, you know, playlist. What is- oh, I haven't seen this. Alright, oh, let's put it on that. Marrakesh in Morocco. I heard the people there really love tea. Let's give this a try. Really? It's interesting. Oh my. It's warm but very refreshing. No wonder Morocco is often associated with tea. I have actually never heard of that fact before. <laughs> I did not know that. The more you know. How about you, Miss Merkel? Do you want to order right away? You want to play? Yeah. Uh, I don't know. I <laughs> I'm always a really... I always say anxious when trying to recommend games because I'm fine with anything. This game has a lot of reading, so if you're fine with that, then it's cool. Actually, wait, let's see with Freud. No, wait, we didn't read this yet. What was the previous one? Oh, is this the one where he freaking kisses the cat? No, I think it was this one. No, it was not that one. It was not that one. No, it was not that one. There. Oh my god. Freya, you weird person. Alright. Let's read this one first before we continue. <laughs> it was a Saturday night, as usual. I picked her up from her apartment for another Saturday night date. I used the word another, but to be honest, this was the first actual Saturday night date we've done since I don't even know when. Wasn't every week a cool event related to our hobby happened, so we, or I, I suppose I should say. We're going to Mrs. Chance for a cozy evening in her apartment. We'd only been dating for four- oh my god, this is a long one. Oh no. For four months, and I kid you not, we couldn't have been more different. I'm the type of person who feels restless if I don't go out on the weekend. While she preferred to lock her apartment from the inside, flush the key down the toilet and never leave again. I'm the second person. <laughs> nah. Just kidding. Uh, I'm kind of both. It, it, it depends on my mood. I'm mostly an introverted person, but I can be very extroverted around friends, I'd say. Is that weird? But I find the best way to spend an evening is just, I don't know, chilling. Inside. <laughs> so bartender, if I find a quiet. Oh, yeah. You, you, you must, like, enjoy sitting in front, uh, standing in front of people while they're talking about their life. And stuff. Can you say you're a good friend? Yeah, thank you. Well, I, I try. Uh, what did I want to say? I was, <laughs> oh my god, my brain is on like 1%. <laughs> uh, yeah, but uh, I have that general... Like, I know it's gonna be fun, but sometimes I just don't really feel like going. But I don't I would feel bad if I cancel, so I go through it anyway and end up having fun. <laughs> and I have that every time. <laughs> well, not every time, but a lot of times. It kind of sucks. But yeah, I try. Um, where are right. Uh, where are we? Oh yeah, that's why me going out to her apartment on the weekend was the fairest option for the both of us. I mean, we can just order food online and chill without having to worry about the traffic. Ain't that cool? That's what she said whenever I asked if she wanted to eat out somewhere. That happened a lot in our first month together. After that, I try just tried to get used to it. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that, actually. Because, uh... Takeout is nice, I, I like having your food ordered to you, but I think it's always, it, it fits the atmosphere to just go out and eat to a restaurant where the food is like freshly made for you, you know, and the moment it's done, it goes right to your table and you can eat it instead of like letting it sit in a hot, in a hot bag for like 20 minutes. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but ordering food is also nice, especially when you're lazy. We drove to the event. It wasn't that far, but traffic's always ridiculous on the weekend. Throughout the drive, we barely spoke. Total silence, except for the music playing from my playlist. If she knew the song, we would sing along to the song. If not, then total silence it was. When we arrived at the event, she changed. She, she became the most outgoing, friendly, and talkative person around. Even I was nothing compared to her, and I usually consider myself a very talkative person. We said hi to everyone we knew, and some we didn't. 
and then we tried all the games being showcased there. Sat next to each other, trying one game after another, commenting on the story, art, music, gameplay, atmosphere, and any other aspects you might use to judge a game. But when we played, we just played, not talking through the playthrough. Total silence, as if she was recharging spent energy from all the, of the interacting she'd done before. Honestly, I do that. I. <laughs> if you can, if <laughs> that's kind of a funny story, because when I got, I met one of my best friends. Just she started to talk. She, uh, she was also kind of um, afraid of saying that she liked anime, because we kind of lived in a place where anime wasn't really as popular. And then she said, she said it out loud in class, and was like. Ah, yes, so do you like anime too, I see, and then we became- she became one of my best friends. <laughs> like, if you get- if you can get- if you can get me to talk about my interests, I can go on forever. <laughs> Back in- that's the way of the introvert, I think. But in her apartment, we didn't talk much. She made two cups of green tea latte for both of us, and then we watched Netflix together. Isn't that- I- I'm not gonna ask, but only a few words traded. Don't you feel bored dating me? She asked. Really? This again? I know, I'm sorry to bring this up again, but you were so silent today, I thought you were mad at me. Honey, I'm not mad at you, why would I be? I don't know, it's just that I'm super introverted, you're super extroverted, and there are times when I feel like I'm holding you back from your true self. You're just overthinking things, honey. Tonight was amazing, and I can't thank you enough for being willing to join me and sacrifice your stay-at-home relaxation time. We both know how much you love staying in and how rarely you get the chance to do it. How do you like me? You have asked this question a dozen times in the last four months, you know. Nudged her and smiled. I I just want to make sure, she said. Oh, <laughs> started crying. <laughs> hey, 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 don't be sad, it's okay. And to answer your question, I don't know why I like you. That answer again. Because it's true, all I know is I just feel comf comfortable around you. I just feel happy and calm and I don't know. Do I need to know? It sounds dangerous, liking someone without no without knowing the reason. Believe me, dear. I was confused for the longest time before I realized. It's actually the best feeling I've ever had. How about you? Why do you like me? Who said I liked you? <laughs> I was speechless for a moment. She grinned at me and giggled through the remains of her tears. She had seen your face. Oh my god, don't mess around with me like that. You almost gave me a heart attack. Good, it means you weren't trying to. Ho you weren't lying about your feelings. She smiled. You haven't answered my question. It's a secret. It's not fair. I told you mine. I hate to break it to you, but don't know it's not a proper answer, my dear. But it's an honest one. I know. We stayed silent again. So that was my intro introvert girlfriend and me. My answer to her was obviously a lie. Not knowing why you like someone is super scary, but I never imagined being able to feel like that for anyone other than her. At least that's how I wish things could be, as I thought. As I drove back home alone in my car in total silence. Wait, what? Bot twist, he doesn't like her? Alright, sure. Of the Tetheric. I have no idea what that is. I will have to check my encyclopedia. TT milk. Alright, here you go, buddy. For feeling. Oh, never mind, I just switched. Wait, right, it was here. Where's all? Favorite things, me time. What I'm doing in my life, as I've stated before, working on Full Metal Complex series. No, She really is a game dev. Here's your Tetaric. I have no idea if I pronounced that correctly. <laughs> huh. Is there anything wrong? No. It's better than I thought it would be, actually. I think I'm giving her the same voice as Susie. <laughs> the taste is really authentic. Just like the Tetaric. Live again? We're live again. Cool. Okay, cool. I don't know how much it missed. Oh my god, it's disconnecting again. I'm not happy with that. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I swear, I swear. Streamlabs is giving me more heart attacks. Oh, maybe it's the internet I'm using. Who knows? Is everyone still there? I sure hope you are. 
This kind of annoys me because this kind of ruins like the video section of the channel. All right, Rika is back. Cool, cool, cool. Rika is still here. I <laughs> this annoys me so much. <laughs> I'm gonna try and see if I can fix that so later. Let's just play the game. Ciao. So you learned about it in Malaysia? Yes, and from videos on the internet. <laughs> you always come back. That's really sweet, Rika. So, um, how are things going in the office? As usual. Tiring. But thanks to you and your theme, we've made some good progress with a problem we've been stuck on a while, for a while. I'm glad I could be a bit of help. It's not every day your research can have an impact as direct as this. Only a few weeks after publication, no less. The thing is, even with your help, we still need to do a ridiculous amount of overtime. Make sure the game will- oh man, oh man, Myrtle, don't start in the crunch culture. Please don't, it's not good for you. Make sure the game will be available for the holiday season. Oh, I want to say please don't forget- yeah, exactly. Please don't forget to rest, but I'm sure it won't be that easy for you and your team. Wait, I just realized, did Freya just write about Aqua and Myrtle? Ha. <laughs> <laughs> So if those executives care about us. Overtime is not mandatory, they'll say. Please see your family, get some rest. But we all know that optional overtime is a passive aggressive move. <laughs> we'll stay longer in the office anyway. Because if you go home earlier than the others, you'll feel bad for them. You'll feel guilty. I understand that so much. I hate to admit it, but yeah, it's guilt. Damn. I wish I could help you. At least say something to boost your morale. Sadly, I'm not the right person to give you advice about that. For guilt is something that also bothers me a lot. This is true grim facts about the game industry. <laughs> I wonder if they're actually directly hitting on CD Projekt Red or, or just in general. For things I shouldn't feel guilty about. And you know what makes it worse? I know the state of the industry. But it still saddens me to realize that my favorite series was born out of such sacrifice. No, oh. I'm, I'm sorry, I ruined the mood for- Oh! <laughs> Aqua, my, my beloved. Don't worry about it, Aqua. It's not that bad off, you know. At least the company gives us decent compensation. Healthcare, bonuses, and so on. We're all they're used to this. So don't worry about me, okay? <laughs> Getting used to unhealthy working conditions shouldn't be the norm. Hey, cheer up. Remember, your research helped us a lot, out a lot. Thanks to you, the rest of the development is going to be much easier. How's your game doing, by the way? Actually, I have some good news about it. What is it? The game got approved to be showcased at Max West this year. Is that supposed to be PAX? When's the last time you ever heard about PAX? <laughs> I swear, I haven't heard about PAX in years. <laughs> it's really good news. Congrats. Thank you. So, what's the problem then? I haven't confirmed my attendance to the organizer. Why? Confirm it. Fast. Before they give your spot to another indie. I... I'm just not so sure about it. I'm stopping you. Cost? The boat is free for indies. It's good then. And the events even, even in Seattle. You don't need to spend anything on travel or accommodation. It's a golden ticket. But I'm not that confident. Pass the selection process, right? That should be enough validation to reassure you of the game's quality. If I'm not mistaken, the judges are usually prolific people in the industry. Also, see and also senior journalists. I I know, but I've told you about my game, right? It's pretty non-traditional. Thousands of people will be visiting Max, expecting full Metal Conflict and other bigger games. Every game has its own market, you know? And you'll be in the indie area. People know what to expect there. Gamers aren't that stupid. <laughs> what if some haters visit the booth? What if they don't like my game and say bad things about it? Or about me? That's not gonna happen. It's an expo, not the internet. People are way nicer in real life. <sighs> And after all that, I'll still be there by myself for the whole event. Hmm. That one is a problem, yeah. 
Meeting that many people is already scary enough. Doing it for four days straight, showing my baby to the public. I just can't imagine the horror. Myrtle, go with her, please. You know what? Huh? So far, the schedule is pretty empty around then. If things stay this way until max, come with you. <laughs> no, you don't have to do that. Even if you're free, then you, you shouldn't waste your time on me. Relax or something. Nah, it's no bother. We're going to the event anyway. Might as well come with an exhibitor badge. But wh what about your company's boots? Don't worry about it. There are hundreds of us. I can just ask my lead to skip this year. But, but, but... Co I'm coming with you. <laughs> Whether you like it or not. Uh, okay. Good. Now, what are you going to show? What are you going to show the game on? I'll have a laptop and a smartphone. Is the expo build ready? A expo build? You're not planning to showcase the full version, right? Um, that that's the plan. Don't. I can give you the guidelines on what to have for the expo build. Do you have the game with you now? It, it's on my phone. I can send you the build now if you want. Do so. Okay. Got it. Now let's see. Tease. Smelling a little off. It's tasting a little off. I'm being called. Hold on. My mom is very sweet. She made noodles. <laughs> yeah, this tea is tasting a little off. Uh, hmm. <laughs> Alright. Hello, Miss Rachel. Hi, Skylar. Hmm. What's wrong? Huh? Nothing. I've just been practicing all day and I'm pretty tired. We're having concerts. Don't, don't tell anyone yet. It'll be announced tomorrow. But I'm going to perform at Coachella. Oh, they have a Coachella? Coachella this week. They're, they're still adding new performers? Y yeah, you might say that those announced this late are... Backups. Oh. Oh. It's still the biggest festival in the country. Yes. And I'm excited for it. I think I should celebrate with a special drink. Something sweet. What do you want to order? Sweet hot chocolate. Do you want... Should I give her something special? She wants this especially sweet. Let's see. There's something else? No. Chocolate honey milk. It's pretty sweet. Alright, let's give this to her. Here's your drink. Oh, it looks very pretty. And it's warm and sweet. I love it. Please don't has oh <coughs> please don't hesitate to call me if you need anything. Thanks. Other than the instruction on loading stream, try putting a time limit on how long they can play. Why? Wouldn't that break their immersion? Probably, but in case there's a good reaction to it, 
you might have people lining up to play your game. Don't want to make them wait too long. Th that makes sense. If you don't want to put a time limit on it, try ending the demo with a cliffhanger. It should get people's attention. Noted. Man, I also want to work on my own game. Th that? <laughs> what are you doing here? I don't know what kind of voice I should go with, Rachel. I kind of want to go with that, like, white girl voice. <laughs> After what you did at the studio this evening. But I think Rachel has a more softer voice, I think. I, I was worried I couldn't find you anywhere around the studio, so I thought you'd be here. But we cannot just limit ourselves to this place. And now you're causing another ruckus. We're sorry, Skylar. We didn't mean to cause you any problems. You are sorry. I don't have anything to be sorry for. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with a little more powerful voice for Rachel. Well, anyway, I, I better order something. What are you having? What, what what would you recommend? Might I suggest a cup of Spanish Sahara? Oh, what is that? It's basically hot chocolate with milk and ginger. Sounds delicious. Take that Spanish Sahara. He does. Alright, let's see. There's literally a churro in it. <laughs> Ooh, we can make some little bit of latte art. Wait, did we just do it wrong? Hold on. Yeah, I think we did it wrong. Uh, trash it. Chocolate, milk, and ginger. Thought so. Why are we allowed to do a latte art? <laughs> Alright. There we go. It has a churro in it. Your drink is ready, sir. My, my. This is amazing. Glad you like it. Dad. Yes. Please just go home after you finish your drink. Not until you leave that good-for-nothing pervert. I need him. He's going to help me become more successful. I know Morris. He's not a good person. Wait, Morris? Do we know him? The industry has changed, Dad. It's not like 20 years ago. Besides, since he left, he's been growing his brand, making his name. Managing a lot of stars so they become superstars. Still have my informants in the industry, he hasn't changed much. And even if it has, it wasn't for the better. You're just being paranoid. First you were afraid of how my fans would treat me. Now you're afraid of the industry too. What's next? You lock me in the house because you're afraid of the air I'm breathing? You're just too young to own so <laughs> Alright, wait, give me a sec. <laughs> gotta do this for a bit. There we go. Alright, you're just too young to understand. Then make me understand, because this is definitely not helping. There are better ways. Didn't you learn anything from mom? You were together for almost 15 years. But you learned nothing. Not even how to talk to your own daughter. Rachel, I... I'm sorry. No trying, okay? Try harder. Because right now, you're not helping anyone. Not me, not you. No one. I, I know. But give me a chance. You know what? I will take. It will take time for me to learn. But I am learning. Or, you know, could return to the industry. Could try to be your manager. Dad, are you out of your mind? You've been out of touch for so long. I told you, I've informants there. I'm not that out of touch. Of course, there are things they need to figure out. But we doesn't work that way, Dad. You know that. Going from a girl brand to a solo career won't be easy. If I take things slow, I lose all my momentum. If you don't want me to be your manager, couldn't you at least choose someone other than Morris? I don't think so. Mr. Lester is the height of his career now. He's my best chance right now. Don't be too paranoid, okay? I made my decision. Now, please, go home. Relax. Don't ever come to the studio again. Going back there. I need to practice for the festival. It's only a few days away. It's a big chance to boost my presence as a solo artist. When are you going to be home? I, I don't know. 
I'll be staying at the hotel the label provided. But that's... See you, Dad. Wait, Rachel. Excuse me for a moment, Carter. Sorry, I'm, I have food, so I'm eating, but I don't want <laughs> weird noises to come through the stream. Sorry about just what happened. You, you don't have to apologize. Yeah, we're just, we were busy minding our own business anyway. Wait, just realized there's no Freya today. What? You, you didn't hear their argument, Mark? Of course I heard them. Just chose to ignore most of it. It's none of my business, is it? That's amazing. What's amazing about that? Uh, I don't think I can do that. Fighting and focusing my attention so completely, especially when there's an argument like that. Saying you weren't listening to my advice and you were focusing on them instead. <laughs> <laughs> and no, I was listening. I made notes. See, you don't even realize, but you're capable of focusing your attention. Now that you mention it, it happens naturally, I guess. Being born into a big family is useful after all. Yeah, sometimes we don't even realize what we're capable of doing. By the way, you want to head back now? Yeah, it's pretty late. Your yes, Skylar, we're leaving. Hope you had a good time. Thank you for the drinks, as usual. Be stuck here on your way home. Anyways, I see a question, uh, explanation mark. I click on it. Rachel. Hi there, I'm Rachel Florencia. You might have seen me on your screen singing, dancing, or modeling. Working on a new album, especially for you right now. That's sweet. What about Henry? Favorite things? Family music. Trying to be a better father while running a record store. No, oh, I guess a record store. Hmm, I guess that's all for today. And there's Freya. She's late to the part. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, you're back, Mr. Henry. Are you alright, sir? Sir? Oh, yes, yes. Please don't worry about me. Did you manage to catch up with Miss Rachel? No, I, I lost her. Sorry to hear that, but I'm sure she's alright. Hope you're right. By the way, pardon me for asking. Yes? Throughout your arguments with Miss Rachel, something kept bugging me. Watch that. Why did you leave the music industry? Ha. <laughs> Now that's a trip down memory lane. You don't have to tell me if it makes you uncomfortable. Oh, oh no, it's fine. I left around 20 years ago. Just as we were welcoming the beginning of a new millennium. It was a great time for girl bands, you know. They were huge in the 90s. And they were still enjoying the leftover sensation of the past decade. Met my wife while working. She worked for a record label. That's how we met. Decided to get married and settle down. I wanted a peaceful life. You didn't find peace managing girl bands? Oh gosh, no. The politics, the dark side of the industry, none of it is good. But what hit me hard was the fans. Toxic fans are the worst. Teenage girls especially, they, they were cra crazy about their idols. To the point where they started doing really unimaginable stuff. Like what? Spending all their money trying to copy the superstar life, abandoning their responsibilities, their families, and the men. They were even worse. Sexualized the girls in every way you could possibly imagine. Edited photos, stalking, outright sexual assault. It was before the internet, mind you. I mean, the internet existed, but it wasn't as mainstream as it is now. It wasn't even the target of you, this, but it haunted me. It was everywhere. Don't talk to me about peace. I couldn't sleep back then. Not getting enough sleep is dangerous for cats. What do you do for a living now? After we got married, my wife and I opened a record store. It's not big, but we have a very have a specific audience. We're niche, but they love us for it. It's more than enough for a little family. You said you're still in touch with your friends in the music industry. They visit my place from time to time, and we all meet up at least once a year. Usually, it's at my place. Gosh, look at the time. I should go home too. You're going to be alright by yourself. Don't worry about me. I'm an old cat. Stronger than most people think. See you later, Skylar. And sorry for bringing our fight to your place. Don't, don't worry, we've had worse, worse fights. Don't worry about it. Alright then, goodbye.
Alright, we're gonna do a one more episode. I swear if the stream dies again, I'm gonna look into it. October 1st. Hey, that's three days from before. No Freya? Yeah, indeed, what a weird day. <coughs> Rachel Fl oh, there she is! Rachel Florencio confirmed to be f to perform at Coachella 2020. Gail Nyman and Maruki Harukami to collaborate for a new IP. Coachella organizer reminds parents not to allow their t children to attend unsupervised. <laughs> the heck? What is going on? <laughs> Sorry, we're not open yet. Oh, Neil, you come very early today. Is there anything I can help you with? There's definitely something that you can do. What is it? Can we work here? Excuse me, what? Is it possible for us to work here? Oh, why? We have learned something precious since we have first arrived here. Communication is very important on Earth. And Earthlings communicate in a very complicated way. Those are mine to learn that you need to mix between verbal and non-verbal communication here. Yes, but I can see that your communi communication skills prove an awful lot since you arrived. That is true, but it is not enough. Some of the biggest lessons about Earthlings we have learned, we learned them here. This made us think, instead of focusing on finding a breeding partner, we should focus on learning how to communicate with Earthlings properly. Sounds like a good strategy. That is why we asked you to allow us to work here. Because you want to interact with our customers? That is correct. Hmm, not sure about this. Neil, normally if you're applying for a job on Earth, you have to go through certain processes before you finally get the job. If you get it at all. Oh. Oh wait, it's a new day, we should probably check out the story. Okay, Freya, what have you written this time? Without coming over happened again. I told her as I exhaled smoke. What? Took the train once to get here and fell in love twice. Not this again, she sighed. Looked like she wanted to stub her own cigarette on, out on my face. I just can't help it. She said nothing. It's way easier, you know. Seeing someone from afar, letting your imagination roam as you daydream about how he or she lives, ignoring the fact what, that what you see is not the way that they really are. It's way easier. You can't keep doing this to yourself. You know you need something real. I mean, this might be a stupid suggestion, but you're still using that dating app, right? Try to be more open-minded while you use it. I agree. Good. I agree that it was a stupid suggestion. She looked pissed. I couldn't blame her. It's not like this was the first time we talked about this. In fact, this conversation tended to happen around once a season. Sip. You need to stop overthinking. Go out and stop putting impossible expectations on anyone, on people. You know I can do that. I've tried. I get overexcited at any opportunity. And how's that served you so far? No, I was the one who said nothing. I'm afraid I said. Of what? Uh oh, hold on.
so many disturbing dis disturbances today. Sheesh. All right, we're back. Um, next title I'm gonna be trying not to lose my voice or read. I'm. I, hey, my voice is still there, right? My voice is still okay. Um, where were we? Completely forgot where we were. Uh. Oh yeah. And how's that served you so far? No, I was the one who said nothing. I'm afraid. I said. Of what? Of what will come later? I'm afraid that even if I find the right person for me, the people around me won't accept them, whoever they are. Fuck the people around you. Another stupid suggestion. then. I could be in jail for that. Okay. She took a long drag of her cigarette and narrowed her eyes at me. What happened to you recently? Huh? Don't usually overthink quite this much, so something must have just happened. Truth is, something did happen. Something too silly to be even be discussed. But she knew me. She knew about my problems, so I told her. I watched a stand-up com comedy show. Seriously? <laughs> it's true. Watch one of my favorite stand-up comedians. I know he'd recently got married to someone he loves. Someone I thought was very similar to him. All this time I thought he took the easy way out, finding someone who'd quickly be accepted by the family he was born in. And the family he's about to make. But it turned out his journey was far from easy. There were hardships I never knew he faced, and when he talked about it, it scared me. Why? The fact that I'll have to deal with it someday, the fact that I might have to choose between... Side. At least when I see people on the train and imagine a life with them. Those imaginary people don't create these kinds of problems. They do create a different kind of problem, though. She's right. You know, sometimes I feel like I want, I want to go to the tallest building in the city and just jump. I said, to die? That's not a to fly, you fool. Because if that really happened, all the things that are scaring me won't matter. I'm with, this is why I'm not gonna keep the stream for long. Alright, uh, hmm, okay. Da 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 Okay. Thank you. But with one condition. You won't be making any drinks. I'll handle that. Once I'm done, you will give the cup to the customer. Understood. He's gonna trip and fall. Bet. There are other things you need to keep in mind. What is that? Dealing with the customers. Some people come here just to chill. They might come just for a drink, work, or to read something. Strongly suggest you let them be. But always be prepared if they want to talk about anything. How can you know whether people want to be left alone or not? That won't be easy. But you, you'll be able to judge based on their body language. Non-verbal signs? Yes. That will be very hard for us. Indeed. Don't worry. I'll give you a sign. When you should start talking. Or when you should stop. Thank you. We will need that so much. Well, that's basically all you need to do here. Do you need a special outfit to do the job? Not really. I'll lend you an apron, though. To help you keep your suit clean. To differentiate you from the customers. You don't really need more differentiation. <laughs> but it will make you look more legit for the job. That is very ugly to do. It is. Alright. Imagine the agent will walk in now. <laughs> Alright then. Are you ready for this? Yeah. Okay. Let's start the night. Oh, we have we have a buddy. Welcome. <laughs> Holy wow. What the hell's happening? Good evening, Miss Freya. Hey, Skylar, what's going on here? Well, Neil's walking here tonight. And I, th and I thought I was the one who brought the bad news. Never thought this place would be ground zero for an alien invasion. Ha, <laughs> it's not that. Neil's just helping out. He never looks like someone who needs help. There are a few things to clarify, Miss Freya. First, our mission was never about conquering Earth. In fact, it is the other way around. Second, judging from the situation, we're actually the person who is getting help from the barista. Not the other way around. What? We have learned some things since we arrived, and we came to a conclusion, before starting another breeding mission, we should learn more about how Earthlings communicate. We thought this place was the best place to learn. And you just agreed to this? On one condition, I make the drinks. Neil will, be, will only be here to serve and communicate. F fair trade. What's in it for you then? What? You're helping them here. 
What do you get in return? Now that you mention it, if there's anything you want from us, please do not hesitate to ask. Aren't we actually supposed to be the one who has to pay him or something? <laughs> Don't mention it. Oh man, Neil's providing free labor. Poggers. <laughs> well, maybe it can be in my next story. Can write an article about your work here. Freya. I still need to write for the paper again. What happened? The chief found out. Oh, is that why you didn't come yesterday? Oh, yes. How did she find out? You remember my fateful meeting with a higher up in the elevator? Yes. Same thing happened with my chief. Met each other in the lift, and the higher up mentioned our encounter to her. <laughs> chief called me into her office, and things went downhill from there. She realized immediately that it was the reason for my poor performance lady. What do you mean, Freya? You've been writing bomber stories. <laughs> she didn't like it, of course. Sorry to hear that. What are you going to do now? Write the goddamn novel, I guess. After that? Hope, it, hope that it sells well. If not, I don't know. We do not understand what is really happening, Miss Freya. But we feel the immense sadness and frustration you feel. How about a warm cup of drink? It is on the house. Huh? You're allowed to do that? We will pay for it. Does Neil even have money? No, it's okay. It's on the house. That was a nice thing to do, Neil. That was the best thing to do, according to our senses. It was. So what do you want to drink, Miss Freya? Your favorite. Our favorite? Anything. Trust you with the decision. Alright. She wants Neil's favorite, if I'm correct. So we're gonna make milk, honey, and mint. Like the absolute complete opposite of what Freya always takes here. Here is your drink. Specially crafted by the owner of this coffee shop. Well, who else is gonna brew it? Thank you so much for this. I always understand I always wondered why your place only served hot drinks. But today might have an idea why. Far along are you with the novel? I can prepare the draft in a few days, I think. Now that now that I don't really need to care about other deadlines. And if I manage to infuse some coffee and creativity into my blood, it sounds doable. Even without a caffeine infusion. Excuse me, Miss Freya. We have learned extensively about Earthlings' bodies, about other races. And we did not think infusing your blood with coffee would be advisable. Ugh. I'm sorry, Neil. I'm not really in the mood for this sort of conversation. It was just... Neil. Freya wasn't serious about infusing herself with coffee. Oh. We are glad to hear that then. That was a figure of speech, Neil. Ah, we have heard about that term. It is still very hard to understand your language. It will always be hard. Languages will keep on changing. Understood. Imagine how English will be in like 100 years from now. Because like, if you look for a decade before, you could see that the language is so different than compared to now. I wonder how it would be like. I wonder if like internet speech takes over the whole <laughs> language and everything got shorter. Cause that's the thing. I think a lot of things got a little shorter compared to old old languages or old English. Let's say. It's so interesting to me. I wonder how that will turn out. All right. At least here we are now. Now to learn the basics of how Earthlings communicate. Miss Frodo, if we may ask. Ask away. How fast do you write? Not fast enough, apparently. But do you have numbers? Numbers? How many words do you produce per day? Hmm. I don't think I have the exact number. But full time, I should be able to write about between 3,000 and 5,000 words per day. That's a lot. That's raw. After that, I still need to edit it. Usually end up with about half of what I originally wrote. According to our research, the standard number of words for the thing you need to write is between 50 and 100,000. That's right. But for this draft, I don't need to write that much. 
that is a pleasant information here. Oh my god, Neil is learning. <laughs> How many words do you need to write? Let's see. I think it should be around 15,000 words. It's pretty big for a pitch draft. Well, it's GRA Media. It's the biggest publisher around. If you can't base on the number of words, it seems like you will be able to achieve your targets easily. <laughs> I wish. Writing isn't only about the number of words, Neil. It requires things inside the mere word count. If we only judged writers by their ability to write a large number of words, then we wouldn't have poetry or short stories. My tea is getting cold. That is extreme. Uh, I'm just gonna go put down. Ah, should have put honey in it. <laughs> That is pretty hard to understand, but we learned beforehand that art is a difficult matter, even for earthlings. Yep. Earthlings seem to have a fascination for things which are hard to understand, from languages to arts. That's true. We always love to learn. Write again. But you're not that wrong about writing, you know. Word count is one of the few things you can objectively judge a story by. It's not the most important thing, but it's still up there. So it's still a valid par parameter. Parameter. Jesus Christ, help my pronunciation. Definitely. Cool. Da da da. <laughs> that didn't sound like you at all, Neil. I guess you really are learning something in Earth. Oh, who's our next guest of for the evening? Oh, another guest. Myrtle! Good evening, Miss Myrtle. Da da da. Da da da. <laughs> I won't even ask. It's prepped for one thing. Who's making the drinks? I'm still the one responsible for that. Good. Coffee with a little bit of ginger, please. I wonder if we have a coffee drink for that. Coffee, coffee, ginger. Here you go. Oh my god, you see his astronaut hand holding it. <laughs> Your order is ready. Da da da. Not bad. Thanks. You are welcome. What brings you here today, Miss Myrtle? Psst, Neil. Some people come to a coffee shop just to sit without being disturbed. Oh, that, oh, that definitely seems to fit Miss Myrtle's visit. Actually, I'm not here to just sit without being disturbed. Ah? Huh? Pardon us. I was just training Neil on how to talk with the t customers here. I can see that. You're still trying to get laid. Er. Oh. Oh. No, you're not. <laughs> Look at Freya laughing. We have tasked with learning how earthlings communicate with each other. Yeah, that's a step in the right direction. One suggestion if you want to blend in with us, stop using such formal language. Start talking the way we talk. Start listening the way we listen, which essentially is not really listening at all. That would be very difficult to achieve, but we will try, step by step. One small step for you might be one giant leap for your kind. That was nicely said, Miss Fred. By the way, Miss Mortal, now that we know you are not here for your usual activities, are you here for someone then? Yeah. Oh, is it Aqua? Uh huh. What's the occasion? No special occasion. It's just sit on another date. Who is here? Oh, you can hear her like squash, squash, squash. <laughs> I I'm sorry. I'm late. I, I was supposed to leave early, but. Wh wh what is this? What is happening here? I already told the barista to call the cops when he's so. Wait, what? Hold on, I really told the barista to call the cops when he's, he said he was going to breathe here. Where's Skylar? Quick, quick, smart, quick, smart, quick, smart. Miss Aqua, please relax. I'm here. Oh, you're safe. Yes, everything is fine. <sighs> okay, please let me take a breath. Breath. Here, please drink this water. Rehydrate. See, even in the game, we tell people to hydrate. Feeling better now. Yes. 
I I'm sorry. It is alright, Miss. Oh. It is alright, Miss Aqua. Everyone has been surprised to see me here. Well, what are you doing here anyway? We are starting to think that we might need to make a recording for the answer to this question. You, you don't have to tell me if you don't want to. <laughs> Aqua, my baby. <laughs> no problem, Miss Aqua. It is time for a break anyway. Wait, he gets breaks? Who said that? We never said that. <laughs> so here's the deal. What what is Neil's voice, lol? That's Neil. <laughs> that's the reason for his voice. Th that's really interesting. Very nice of you to do this, Skylar. It's nothing really. But do you really think one day is enough to learn everything? Definitely not. But we do not want to disturb this place business for any longer. As if this place cares about business. Besides, we want to travel around the planet more. Oh, Neil, don't leave us. This coffee shop is a good start. But we cannot limit ourselves to just this place. Where do you want to go after this? Coachella. What the fuck, buddy? <laughs> what? What are you going to do at Coachella? According to our research, there are many breedings happening to- Help. <laughs> there are many breedings happening during Coachella. With that is why we decided that the event will be our next target. Well, you're not wrong. But didn't you say the baby has to be born out of love? Yes. We know this. Death. It's not Armstrong. <laughs> It's an alien that took on <laughs> that took on the name of Neil. But we also noticed that we need to know a lot more about Earthlings, including the breeding matters. That is why we will study. Oh my God, this guy's <laughs> this guy's gonna go on straight into voyeurism. <laughs> After that, we will be very ready to breed with so many female Earthlings. I I shouldn't say this, but hell, sounds like the best plan you've had since you got here. <laughs> We know. Oh, he's happy. <laughs> we also surprised ourselves. But please, Miss Freya, let us stop talking about our plan. We worked here today. First, let us return to our spot behind the bar. So, our discussion with Miss Myrtle was stopped abruptly. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. What are you two doing together? Err... Uh, it's, it's nothing. We're just friends, you know. We just want to hang out and talk about the work. We both work in the same field, remember? Yes, yes, th that's it. I, I don't have that much experience in game development, you see. Thought your research was in computer graphics. Oh, Myrtle's phone is going off. Yes, but I've never made a game from scratch before. I al al was always a bystander. So, I've been asking Myrtle for feedback from time to time, and today I want to take her directly. But she arrived first, so I couldn't buy her a drink. Never mind that. I'd refuse it anyway. But that... Wait... If you want to thank her directly, does it mean you're done with the game? Excuse me, Miss Freya. It should be you... How the fuck does he hear, hear that? <laughs> it, it should be your, not your. Oh, so you are correcting my grammar now, huh? It was a slip of the tongue, okay? I'm sorry. How did you even pick up on that anyway? It's not like what I'm saying is written down anywhere. We just know. Back to you, Aqua. So, you're done with your game. There, there, there's quite a lot of things I need to polish and fix, but players can enjoy the experience from start to finish. What kind of feedback do you give people for a video game? That depends on the game. But in Aqua's case... Most of my, my advice was about the pacing, control, and UI, UX. <sighs> Must be fun to have finished working on your creation. It, it surely can remove some of my of the weight of my chest, just to replace it with another weight. You mean there's still more to come after you're done? I'm not done with my book. I just lost my job. And I can't finish this trap on, And if I can't finish this draft on time, I'm done. Even after all that, if it doesn't sell well, well... I'm even more than doubly done. <laughs> Doubly done. I'm sorry to hear that, Rhea, but please be more confident. <laughs> I'm even starting to doubt myself. I read some of your short stories, you know. After our first meeting, 
I subscribed to the Evening Whispers app. Then I read some of the stuff you wrote. They're really good, you know? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that, that one where someone's fresh kissing a cat. Yeah, that one, that one is my favorite. <laughs> some of them are better than others. But it's still an enjoyable experience to read them. So, I'm excited to check out your book once it's done. Here to kind, Aqua. What you're going through is more or less the same as what Myrtle's going through. So I'm sure it'll both be fine. Ugh. You don't even have to talk about it in front of other people. Uh, oh my god, I I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. It it's just that sharing is caring, you know. <laughs> okay, okay. Thank you for helping me share with other people. I, I really am sorry. I know. I said thanks already, alright? But you put so much emphasis on share. <laughs> the cat one is a classic. <laughs> that that's sarcasm, I know that. <sighs> Aqua. I'm sorry if it sounded the, that way, but yeah, I kind of get what you're dealing with. Though it's a bit different for me. What's your problem? Burnout. Been working since they were two years straight. But no one inside the office knows about it. And those who do don't seem to appreciate it at all. I thought Full Meta Conflict had a new game every two years. Yes, I don't really work on them. Not directly. So what do you work on? Secret project. Tell you under friend. Fr friend. Under, what? Friendy, eh? <laughs> Alright, I'm not with a paper anymore anyway. I'm part of a special team. We're tasked with making a breakthrough in the studio. I realize Myrtle's voice and Susie's voice damages my throat. <laughs> no, not that damage, but it ties it up more out. We need to be able to make a new prototype for a new IP. Or, worst case, another FMC game in a different genre. Send out a dream job for some people. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's what I thought first. You're a writer, right? Imagine being a writer, but you can't publish anything you write. Four years. That doesn't sound like a pleasant situation at all. The team has been making pitches, dozens of them, hundreds, thousands. For all those countless pitches, only a handful got approved for prototyping. So far, none of the prototypes have been approved. Ouch. There's only seven of us on the team. Seven samurai, that's what they said. So you haven't released anything for the last two years? Sometimes our team works to support others. When they're going through a crunch cycle, they need to hit an almost impossible target, we jump in. No wonder you folks were considered the seven samurai. I guess, yeah. B by the way, Miss Myrtle, I just realized. What? Usually, developers get their vacation time after f finishing a project, right? More or less, yeah. When was the last time you had vacation? Before I joined this company, I guess. That's like four years ago. Uh-huh. Dude, no wonder you're so burned out. Oh, look, there you go, so powered up. Yes, that's why. You need a vacation. But I can't just take one. You can. In fact, you will do it tomorrow. But tomorrow is... I'm not done yet. We will take tomorrow, the day after, and another day off. But where should I go? Don't worry, I'll take care of that. You will? I'm going with you for this long weekend vacation. What about Max West? That's not this weekend. Forget about it for now. Hey, hey. Uh, okay. But I can't do it tomorrow. How about starting Friday? It's still a long weekend getaway, right? Hmm. Alright. Oh, I'm so excited. Wow, Aqua. You look like a different person. R really? I I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't be. Uh, okay, it's settled then. I need to go home now. Prepare for a getaway. I'll come with you. Uh, to my apartment? No, we'll walk together to bus stop, just like last time. Uh oh. <laughs> look, I think she's so disappointed. <laughs> that okay then. Everyone, see you next week, okay? Have fun. Take care out there. Now you find joy during our vacation. Oh, you can hear her scratching because she's so wet. <laughs> wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Because <laughs> she's a sea monster. The, the sea folk, sea folk, sea folk. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, <clears throat> 
Okay, see you folks later. We're at the 23 minute mark. Are we gonna die? Is the stream gonna die again in 3 minutes? It's gonna be funny. <laughs> Vacation, huh? Definitely need one for ya. I know, but not now. Can't save yourself out of this. Shh, 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 shh. But I've got, I've got to finish this draft first. As we have said before, you can do it, Miss Freya. Thanks, Neil. Anyway, are you going to close anytime soon? Depends. Why? I'm in the mood for some writing. Then please take your time. You sure? Do you want another drink to be going on with it? Still in the house? Definitely won't say no. Yeah, if you get free stuff, never say no. Unless you're me. <laughs> Alright, uh, that's gonna be it for this stream. Because I do need I do need to leave it. I have something tomorrow. Early in the morning. <laughs> uh, I don't know when the next Coffee Talk stream will be. Probably next week again. Or may- well, sometime around next week. Hold on. Um, we're not- wait. Evening Whispers is with the people for stricter gun laws. I agree. New healthier furry sedative might be available sooner. Action video game. Rising hell. Blamed for violence in school. I'm sure that's a... I'm sure that's a reference, but I would not know. Let's save the game. Main menu. Alright. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> there we go. Alright. Uh, let's end the stream before it dies again. Uh, thank you everyone for watching. Uh, I hope you all have a chill Monday evening or Monday day evening afternoon whatever and I hope you all stay hydrated as always see ya